Hey YouTube. Hey YouTube. This is Naeja. This is Cliff. And this video, thank you for coming back. And um, this video is all about healthy relationships part two. So I want to give my husband perspective on um, how to have a healthy relationship. And just know no relationship is perfect, but the goal is to have a healthy relationship. So what do you think makes a healthy relationship? Well, of course, you know, communication, um, definitely have like a, a, a solid foundation on if you have children like us, make sure y'all both agree on what y'all want for y'all children and agree that regardless whatever bad days that you're going to have, like the children come first and whatever y'all had planned for them that y'all going to do, regardless of what type of beef y'all got with each other that has to be thrown to the side and take care of the kids first. And then, um, I would say second is um don't go to bed mad at each other. Always try to make sure whatever beef that you have is is squashed. That you know y'all come to a mutual agreement that like you know you sorry, the other party sorry, and try to fix it. Don't um don't let it carry on to the next day or what's it? Make sure that it's done with that day. It can't be something that's dragged on whatsoever. Whatever the situation is, don't don't drag it on. Try to come to a healthy compromise, you yeah. know, where um, hear each other out, both, you know, listen and not just anticipate what they're going to say and how you're going to come back like this is a debate. No, it's not a debate. So listen to what the other person is saying. Like my husband always say, like, you know, try to put yourself in that person's, that person's shoes yeah. so you can hear and understand where they're coming from, you know. I also like to, to throw out there like our own personal experience like for instance um when I was certain times remember when we was living in Brooklyn and I was like yo like I want you to get a job here but you were telling me you know you're, you're self-made like you you're an entrepreneur and I didn't understand that I couldn't get that I'm like nah you need to get a job babe you know what I'm saying we know we got this and that to take here until when I had to like um Come, I had to stop seeing what I want to see and, and like seeing her just getting a job and I had to um, look into what she looking into like um, as far as with business she wants to be an entrepreneur so I looked into different things and then plus I had to find I had to put myself first like alright I want to be a business owner even though I'm just a worker I've been working for years so I don't know anything else but work so when I start looking into what how she want to be self made then I'm like wow I realize what she wants to do and now I feel better and then she feels better because now I'm not really worrying about like personally you gotta go get a job and I'm like now I'm like now nah, you gotta do your passion you know what your heart is telling you to do um, and that's being self made and um I just wanna say like I'm I'm sorry that you know it took me a little minute but like I said I had to get into that state of mind with the weather and stuff and now that's out the door that's not like I said it's not a drag on um, thing right. that's going on for years because that's done with so once you get rid of the issues you can move on mm -hmm. but when you bring the issues and they're dragging for years or months or days you and then you're gonna run into new issues and they all gonna combine together and that's what makes the relationship crash so if you could get rid of the old stuff whatever because there's always gonna be something just as long as you know how to get rid of it that's the main thing there's always gonna be an issue there's nobody perfect Right. But as long as you could get rid of it and it's behind you, you good. Cause like I said, now we good. I'm 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 pushing it like, yo, go do this, go do that. You know, you can worry about with the the job thing. Like we all right. As long as we got a food, I said food. As long as we got a roof over our head, our kids is fed. You know, we good. And the bills is paid. We good. Especially you know that with the ladies, the bills gotta be paid. <laughs> so, um. With that, like I said, that's, you know, one of, like, our personal stuff. Right. What about you? Um, I think, too, that goes along with eating right, too. Because if you're not eating right, you're not, you're not thinking clear. You know, so you're not thinking of solutions. Because your body is using all this energy to digest the food. Because it's like, your body's like, what is this stuff you're feeding me? Like, I have to send in all the troops to... You know break down whatever it is you put into my system and I know he said that helped him a lot when I started to make sure that we 
um, I cook for him and, and cook good food and we didn't go out as much to eat, you know, um, because of the healthy lifestyle we, we, we're seeking and to stay into to make it a, a habit and stuff like that. So I think food is is so key to in having a healthy relationship. Yeah, a mm-hmm. much better one. You know, you're not clogged up and you can think better, you know. Yeah, I, I know when we started, we changed um, our diet. Our relationship got better. And it, it got better. You know when, for instance, when your relationship get about, gets better, when, if, a, if for instance, for a man, when a man doesn't want to go home to his wife and the first thought of when he's leaving work or wherever he's leaving at, and he's already getting stressed, that's not a healthy relationship for a man whatsoever. Right. So, you... um. You, you got to find, like I said, you got to start talking. And also when you start talking to your spouse, you got to change, like I said, your diet. Your diet will help you out a lot because now you'll start thinking about the next person first mm-hmm. before you start thinking about yourself. A lot of people are thinking about themselves. Yeah. So you'll start thinking about them more. And that's what happened with me. I start thinking about my wife more whatsoever. And then I start thinking about my children. I'm like, I have to watch what I'm doing because... If my children see that my wife is not happy and stuff, they ask some questions, whatever. And then, you know, they're looking at me like, you know, why is mommy not happy and stuff? So mm-hmm. this stuff reflects, you know, to the exactly. people in your household and people around you. So mm-hmm. the first thing to do is just change your eating. Mm-hmm. Change your eating whatsoever. Mm-hmm. And you might, it might take time, so you, you, you change it slow. If you first thing, if you eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, then start with one of them, whatever one that's convenient for you, or the dinner or breakfast. Just change one of them first, mm-hmm. and how, whatever the time limit is, whatever. Just take your time and start doing it because it's gonna help your relationship. Everything starts with what you put in your mouth to eat, whatsoever. Because that's a true saying: you are what you eat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, yeah, like one. I just want to elaborate when he when he spoke about like our children and stuff like that. Like they're so much key factors in our relationship too because you have a common goal you want them to have the best life possible so all your mistakes you know our mistakes you don't want to repeat it into your children that's your legacy you want them to be continuing to step up the ladder not to redo all the mistakes you did for them to learn no that's stupid you know going backwards you know you want to go forwards so, um, just make sure that, stop being so selfish. Yes. That's, that's, that's just key. Yeah. You know, don't be selfish. Because if you think, if I'm thinking about him, and he's thinking about me, and we're thinking about we, and, she's th- <laughs> <laughs> and we're thinking about the kids, and stuff like that, everybody's taken care of in the household, and nobody is unhappy. Yeah, so, and our kids is always happy. Always. They're always happy. It's mm-hmm. never... A time when you'll see them down like that. What's mm-hmm. up? If it is, it's for like a quick two minutes and they're right back happy again. So, typical kids, you know. So, anyway, you know, stay tuned for part two. And, um, like I said, part the, three. This part, is part three. This is part three. Oh, this you, is you part did. two because I did part one. <laughs> yeah. So, the next one will be part three. <laughs> part three. My bad. Okay. And, like I said, main thing start with that food. If if you're a rice eater, like, I love rice, and I don't even eat rice like that because my wife not even cooking it like that. And I don't even care. I replace it with quinoa. Yeah. Um, try to make that switch over to black rice. Mm-hmm. Or black my... rice or wild rice. Yeah, definitely. Start with the, the eating first. Less starch, the better. And that's hard for me to get rid of the starch. And I haven't completely got rid of all the starch, but start with that starch. So, subscribe. Subscribe. Um, like. And if you have any questions to ask us, we've been together about 14 years. Yeah. Yeah, 14. So, (laughs) we have a lot of great advice to give. And we hope this helps you guys. Please share with your family and friends. We wish you much health, wealth, success, and happiness. Like this video.